Rogers, Lauren Casey here now with what has been a rather busy afternoon for you, Ooh, my friend. Boy, indeed. At one point, we had severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for like pretty much all of the western half of the area west of I-95. There wow. were so many, I couldn't even tweet them all individually. Right. And hail. And hail. We had hail. We had damaging winds. We had very heavy rainfall and frequent lightning. It's still dealing with some storms at this hour. But as we get a live look at Center City, Philadelphia, the storms have rolled through. And now the sun trying to break back out right now. 73 degrees. One bad thing, severe weather. The good thing, that rain has helped cool us off from that heat in the 90s. Southwesterly winds at around 7 miles per hour. So we still have that southerly component to the wind flow, keeping the moisture around severe thunderstorm watch still in effect for about the next half an hour or so for the entire area. The worst of the weather has come through, and we can see that reflected on Storm Scan 3 with this line, a well intact line of severe thunderstorms rolled across the area throughout the afternoon. Now most of that activity is moving offshore, but at our shore points, it is not safe to go back outside with all of this lightning still around. And in Cape May County, you're still dealing with that heavy rainfall. Cape May up into the Wildwood area. A lot of lightning still embedded within that cell. Also in the Atlantic City, Brigantine area, the intensity of the rainfall has let up, but there is still quite a bit of lightning around. So it is not the safe time to go back outdoors. You still need to wait till that line moves offshore. We still got about 30 minutes or so before it's safe to head back outside. Storm Scan 3 showing us we do have this secondary line upwind. It is not as potent, not as widespread, but still some strong storms, even an isolated severe storm just to the northwest of Berks County. So keeping an eye on this, this line could impact parts of the area as we head into the second half of the evening. But those storms were powerful that came through. Some wind damage reports, trees and power lines down in the Queen Village neighborhood in Philadelphia, Mount Holly, Burlington County, trees and large limbs down and then we saw quite a few hail reports pea sized hail in the Cherry Hill area came down consistently for 10 minutes. High temperatures today, all of that heat helping to fuel a lot of this thunderstorm activity. We topped at 93 degrees in Philadelphia, 94 in Dover, even at our shore points. High temperatures in the low 90s today topped at 90 degrees in Allentown, and now we are dealing with that rain cooled air in most areas. Temperatures have fallen back down into the 70s, so we're cooler, but we are not less humid. Dew points are still elevated in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees, so we are still dealing with very humid to nearly oppressive humidity levels and overnight tonight the chance of a thunderstorm early staying with us and then we'll see a lingering shower warm and muggy only falling back to 72 degrees and then for the day tomorrow though we're getting a break, a brief break, but a break. Sunshine, breezy conditions, maybe a straight afternoon shower. Most of us staying dry. Humidity levels really starting to drop off as we head into the second half of the day with a high temperature at 86 degrees. Future precip showing us, though, that threat is picking up on that line that I showed you that is now right now in central Pennsylvania that will start to build into the Lehigh Valley, and we could see a couple of these cells push towards the I-95 corridor. Think best chance will be Philadelphia and southward. So if you're heading out to those fireworks, this evening at Penn's Landing. Just want to keep that in the back of your mind. You still could see a storm sneaking through, so keep yourself weather aware through the rest of the evening. As we head into tomorrow, though, much more comfortable. Monday is our nice day. We wake up to 63 degrees. Comfortable humidity before another heat wave returns as we head into next Tuesday. High temperatures in the 90s all the way through, Ooh. including for the 4th of July. All right, Lauren, thank you so much. Liz.